Salam everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Yaz Iran with my friend Mr. Taster. Hey, good morning. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. I'm asleep here. No, no, no. <laughs> so it's 9 a.m. and we're gonna have like a traditional breakfast here. Yeah, it's really famous here. It's Orme Pochmemor, which is Orme is a sliced piece of lamb. You know, ages ago they keep it with fat because there was no fridge. They they put it in a jar and maybe in a stomach as well. So they put in the stomach of lamb and then they close it with the fat so they, can, they could use it when it's, it's hot. So that's how they would preserve it. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go. This is the restaurant right here, right? So the restaurant dates back uh, 76 years, right? Yes, 76. 76 years. Wow, and it's packed. Look at this, guys. This is the entry? Yeah, that's it. That's the queue. <laughs> that's the queue, my gosh. So people really like this meal, huh? Yeah. I'm skipping the queue. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Tasty knows everyone. Salam, salam, salam. How are you doing? Salam. Oh, let's go. Lentil soup. Oh, lentil soup as well? Mm, it's gonna be so tasty. It's a very tight spot here. <laughs> so they have two things here they have the lentil soup, and then what else do they have? It's abadani ash. Abadani ash? Yeah. So what is it? I like? haven't tried it. It looks like a, just a vegetable yeah, stew. Vegetables. Oh, have we ordered yet? <laughs> Not yet. No. Not yet. We're going to kitchen first. Kitchen first? Okay, amazing. Guys, I love this restaurant, look how beautiful it is. Super historical, 70 plus years old. I love the mosaics, lots of colors. Food's gonna be awesome. All right, we're going downstairs now. Into the kitchen, if we can get through the line. Let's squeeze through here. Oh wow, there's the elevator. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you can find the force of this uh, soap. Oh yeah, yeah, down there. All right, my turn. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh yes, in the kitchen. Wow, look at that vat. Yeah. So Ahmed, what's happening here? Yeah, they're making the uh, lentil soup or adasi in this. That's yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna show you too. This is the process of how they make adasi or lentil stew. Uh, basically they add lentils into this pot, yeah. they add water and they let it sit here boiling for about 90, 90 minutes. minutes. Yeah, exactly. And it takes 90 minutes and it's almost half cooked. So after 90 minutes, it's going to that pot which is bigger, it takes five hours over there to get it completely ready. Oh, so it cooks halfway here and then yeah. simmers for five hours more and then it'll be complete. Yeah, complete. And you, you saw the queue, they finish like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. Oh, so it's quick, quick. one, two hours yeah. and they sell out. Gone. All right, so get here early. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see, it's almost done, right? It's almost done, it's after one hour and a half. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna see how they make the lamb with eggs. Over here we have a bunch of eggs, but where's the lamb? Over here we have the lamb that's been yeah. in its fat, right? It's fat, yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> I can't wait. I love this. Meat and eggs. She's adding some spices. What is that? It's just pepper? It's, it's mixed uh, spices. One of them is bay leaf and one of them is uh, cardamom. Alright, it's time to eat. So, I'm taking the lift with the, the lentils. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Woo. Ali, food's coming. Oh, okay. This is going to be amazing. Here we go, here we go. Oh, we got to make some room here. With all matis. All right, I'm excited. I'm ready. <laughs> so, how do we do this? So, take the bread. Okay. Take some bread. Take some of the lamb. Mm hmm. Like that. Okay. And we dip it? And dip it in the egg. In the yolk. In the yolk. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> the fat. Pickle? Out of this world, man. It's probably the best breakfast of my life. The meat, the fat, the yolk all paired together. Whoa. Amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Thank God I like lamb. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What else do we try? The main one is lentil soup as well. Oh, the lentil soup, okay. The adasi. So mix it together. Beautiful. Look at this. It's cinnamon. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it smells nice and sweet now. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The cinnamon just yeah. takes it up a notch. Whoa. Mmm. I never had a sweet lentil before. Yeah. And it almost takes seven hours mm -hmm. before the process. Yeah, 90 minutes to cook, five hours to simmer, right? And half an hour for eating it. <laughs> now, take, take a bit of bread and do it like that. Like right, that? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. Best lentil dish ever. Really? Ever, wow. yeah, man, the cinnamon. I think I love that you guys add sweetness, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Like that. Mix mm -hmm. it together. Yeah. You get some bread. Oh, the Yum. main part. Okay. Tahdi. Look at that. Oh, wow. You're gonna love it. The fried egg. Yeah. Now, try this one. Okay. <laughs> Big white one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is every day. Wow, so delicious. Why so good? So delicious. So what's this? This is lemonade. This is lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. It's nice. Really bubbly. Wanna go? Kosh Govar. So somebody just surprised us with some dolmas. So what are dolmas in Iran? Because I know what they are in Greece Everybody. and in Turkey. Everybody in Iran. We yeah. All Iran, yeah. So grape leaves inside is rice and meat? And pomegranate sauce. And pomegranate? Oh, so it's going to be sweet, this one. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, they're like sticky. Ready. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. You look like a dessert dolma. Mm. I'm a huge fan. I'm gonna have more. It's got, it's got rice in it, mm -hmm. the split peas, and meat. It's like a sticky pomegranate, almost like a marmalade. Mm. Mm. I love that. Mm. Next up is? Uh, this is Abadaniyash. I never tried it before. Okay. But it's got meat. I can see... Some chickpeas, there's chickpeas, beans. Yeah. I don't know what that green stuff Beans, in the middle is. And also this, vegetables. This and this? I think it should be mint. It's mint? It's onion. It's onion? Onion and garlic. Oh nice. Yeah. So you gotta mix it. It's thick. Yeah, it's and the very thickness thick. is coming from the meat. Look at this. Tasty. Oh. The food here in Iran. <laughs> Every day I'm blown away. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> mm. Dude, I like it better than lentils. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. I'm really surprised about how every single day, every dish is different. Everyone's better and better and yeah. better. Mm. I mean, this is an entire meal itself. Whoa. Mm. Next time you come to Iran, I'm going to take you to Abadan. Abadan? Mm. Sweet from Yaz. Special sweet from Yaz. What is it? Baklava. It's baklava? baklava I'm gonna take one of these home. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! With your cheese better. With the ultimate baklava. <laughs> What's happening? I have to buy a box. I'm gonna buy one of these. Okay, to end our meal, we have baklava and chai, and this baklava is very special. Yaz, Yazdi. Yazdi, yeah. Yazdi. It's it, really famous in this area. So it is coconut and pistachio. Yeah, pistachio, yeah. So good. Best Bakalava combination. Yazdi and otal. Oh. Oh. I love it. I need to buy a house here. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. My friend. Thank you. Delicious breakfast. Okay. Amazing breakfast. Okay. Top breakfast in Iran. Yeah. For me. The lamb, <laughs> the, the lentils. The, 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 the lamb and the egg is delicious food. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. You, thank you. Merci, merci. Hey, my friend, merci. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you. You guys are too kind. I'll see you later. Next time in Yaz, next time. Oh, I pray that I throw the Friday mask up, Yaz. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let's go. These are small bags, the handicrafts of this city, handmade, high quality and the special fabric of yes. I always look for presents for my daughters everywhere I go. On this trip, I'm gonna surprise them with a lot of stuff. This costs only two US dollars, handmade. Even less than two dollars. Even less. Okay, my friend, I'm taking three. I'm so taking three. Nice. You know, this is gorgeous. Nice. Different colors or? Uh, yeah, let me see the colors. Yeah, let me get these. Okay, good, oh my God. These three. Okay. Okay, so I love this place so much. I was looking at everything and they have these beautiful baskets. Look at this, three dollars for this one. How many dollars have you got here? Uh, I think it's I think it's three inside, and then it's this yeah, three yeah, more. Yeah. How much is total so far? Seven point sixty six cents. That's total everything. Yeah, yeah, total, yeah. All right, so let's let's round it to ten. What else can I get for ten? What about he said you said for the head this? This for the head? Yes. Okay, so I took three little purses. Two, um, I guess, like for wallets for money and uh, yeah. coins, and then I took the big basket, roughly like ten dollars and uh, fifty cents, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Super affordable. Come to this guy on the way to the mosque. Wow, look at this store, just beautiful. Everything's so nice. I love these too, man. These are super nice. This? Yeah, so beautiful. What is it for? And for dining tables, also maybe for your bedroom. On the bed, you can take it and lose. All right, Bye. let's go. Merci, merci. Goodbye. Thank you so much. And this is the Friday Mosque. Beautiful gate. Right next to it, we have mini bazaars. I'm gonna stop really fast and get a headpiece because my head is boiling. Like this is better quality. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the color. The other one is uh, it's way more golf region, you know? This is rainy done. We have to go with some different colors. <laughs> Good? Yeah, gorgeous. But what's the difference? No, this is for me, alright? That looks good. Yeah, <laughs> the taster is getting it too. <laughs> My head is too big. No, it's perfect. Yeah, it's too much brain in it. <laughs> too much brain. He looks good though, he looks good. Feeling good, feeling good with this. This feels great. This soaked it, because he said we're going to get into the sun, right? So as soon as you get in the sun, this is going to dry really, really quick. Ooh, we are in a desert and they have so many beautiful things here. They have, you know, tablecloths, they have gowns, they have headpieces, beautiful gowns. I think I'm going to get one of these for my ex, especially for the home, when you're walking around the house, especially in Miami, it's really hot. My friend, merci, merci. Hey, ciao, ciao. Let's go. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Look at this mosque. Gorgeous colors, so different, super lean, like, like a very, very tall entryway, two minarets. For the conquest of Iran by the Arab Muslims, this place was a fire temple. And then these are the fire temple altar that it was taken for uh, holding the eternal sacred fire. This is very interesting, this is very philosophical. We have the earth and this is the birth of human beings into life, blossom and finally to the heavens and so this is after death to the, toward the Lord. All things get started from the earth to the heavens. So right here this is the vestibio. As soon as you enter the mosque, yeah. it's the vestibio. This is a Van Ivan mosque. The dome so amazing. The tile oh. bars, different tile bars. We have different actually us here. The geometric designs, the calligraphy, and different other elements like the praying altar over there. You can see the very amazing praying altar. And this is the direction of Mecca. So here in Iran, all the mosques have mm -hmm. this type of design where it's square, then you have uh, squinches, you said? That's right, yeah. Then it's, then it's 16... 32-sided, uh, and then 16-sided, 16 16 32-sided, and then the round cupola on, onto it. The dome. Yeah, this is Perfect. a difference between Roman and Iranian architecture. Got it. I mean, this place is stunning, beautiful. I love the blues. I mean, yeah. you can find this. Almost every single mosque in Iran is like this in terms of the colors, right? Yes. But this one is extra special in terms of entryway, this, and obviously today's Friday, so it's a, it's yeah. a holiday. Yeah, that's right. We have yeah, three sections in this mosque. 
the inner space taken for normal actually ceremonies for winter season we have the winter hall winter praying hall and also something in the courtyard that is the raised area we do have in the center of the courtyard again this was taken in summertime it means that these three sections were as sacred as actually the main area for praying just it means that the people were not allowed to sit in this area to perform the prank just onto the raised area. I think we still have one more thing to see. I think the fire temple. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he was playing with some birds earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back on the bus. It is too hot out there. Woo! All right, we're gonna get off really quickly and see this square, beautiful yeah. square here. Mir Chakmach. Mir Chakmach Square from 15th century. Taymor the Lame actually, who attacked Iran. Then after him, there was a ruler ruling over Yaz. He decided to make some construction. So this complex here, we have a mosque, two water reservoir, very huge reservoir. And also this facade that is called Mir Chakma facade that is really beautiful with two minerals. In this complex, we have the water reservoir, we have the mosque, we have this facade, and inside you have a mini market, you have some butchers, souvenir shops. That's basically it, right? Beautiful piece of architecture from the 15th century. That's right. I love it. Now we go back. Okay, let's go to the fire temple. Fire temple. So fire temples yeah. were pre-Islam. Dating back to Sasanid period. Okay, so it's pre-7th century. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, let's go, Fire Temple. And we just passed the famous clock tower right here. All right, let's go, is this way? Yes. Uh, you know, before Islam, we were Zoroastrian people and uh, we had fire or the sacred fire as the symbol of Aura Mazda, the construction of this Fire Temple in Yazd. And then uh, this place became the very important place for all Zoroastrian people of the world. We have farewell onto the facade with the right hand showing the right way, holding the circle of unification in his left hand that supposedly the marriage ring had been taken from this symbol from the Zoroastrian religion. We have the wings in three layers, the good deal, good will and good thought that uh, are taken by all human beings ascending the heavens and if you get the tail that goes down uh, actually good uh, bad action bad thought and bad will it goes to the hell okay now we're going to enter the temple and see the sacred fire so story goes this fire dates back over a thousand five hundred years it's an eternal fire it doesn't stop burning they keep putting wood on it and it hasn't been here for that long what happened is it was by shiraz and over the decades they moved it in secrecy to this area. Why? Because during that time, you know, there were all the Arab Muslims who were extinguishing all the fires so they want to get rid of that religion from this area. Luckily for the people in that time, they moved it in secret and it's here now. It's amazing. 1,500 years, it doesn't stop burning. Right next to the fire temple, we have a photo gallery. Here it shows you a little bit of the history and also the concepts of this religion. So here we have Zoroaster, which is the messenger. Right, so he's the messenger of their religion. Over here, it shows you a guy praying. So they pray five times a day towards the source of life, sun, water, food, to source of life, right? Yeah. And then over here, they have um, basically a little table. It shows you how they celebrate what, what like New Year. New Year. New Year. So their New Year. Yeah. No Rus. It's called No Rus. Oh, No Rus. Okay, yeah, so No Rus. It's a famous, famous yeah, New Year's yeah. in, in Iran, it right? It is a pre-Islamic element taken from the Assyrian time. Celebrated from ancient time, from Achaemenid period even. We'll see in Persepolis how the people celebrate the New Year. Amazing. Right. And so yeah, so this is the photo gallery. And I think that's it for the temple, right? Yeah. That's it my friends. That was our morning here in beautiful Yad's 
Man, what a day. <laughs> yeah, what a start. What a start. So we Amazing. started off at this restaurant from... Yeah, we had egg and lamb. We had uh, lentils. lentils. We had uh, some dolma. Yeah. We had, I mean, so many good things. So many good things. For me, that egg with lamb, my favorite breakfast so far in Iran, one of my favorite breakfasts of all time. So good, so fatty, so delicious. And then after that, we saw the mosque. We bought some stuff. We came into the fire temple. And that was our morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to him, follow me. And also, big thanks to our friends at Kutuk Travel for bringing me to Iran and <laughs> take us in the video now. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Love Yaz. Yaz is amazing. Don't forget to follow my YouTube channel, please. <laughs> He's the man. He's amazing.